Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Legend Series Marvel's Venom Phage from the Venom Pool Build-A-Figure Wave. And I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy, Nate's Toys and Collectibles. He had a killer deal on this wave and I was like, it's cheaper to buy these figures than to buy the Build-A-Figure separately. So I ended up uh, buying the wave so I can end up building Venom Pool because he looks fantastic and I'm a huge Venom fan. And... Uh, this figure looks phenomenal. <laughs> this figure looks great with the contrast of the box and the figure itself. It looks fantastic. On both sides of the box, we have artwork of Phage. It's not bad. It's it's not bad. They made it like sort of realistic looking type of artwork. It's just, I don't know. Something about it as I'm looking at it, something just doesn't like sit right. Like, it's, it's good, but it's like something's keeping it from being amazing. On the back of the box, we got Phage all posed up pretty poorly. Some read-up information, so feel free to pause it if you want to read it. And then we got everybody you have to collect to build a Venom pool. I still got to get my Carnage and Venom from Antonio Towns, but until I get those, I'm going in sequential order. Phage comes with the little chunky thunder thighs of Venom pool. Now, the main accessory that Phage comes with is an alternate hand, and it's looking awesome it's just the symbiotic blade being formed you got this gold blade showing through the black the black's all gloopy and sloppy this is a pretty freaking cool piece it looks great here we got a closer look at phage and one thing i can say is that head sculpt is phenomenal i love the head sculpt they did with them the sculpted teeth the paint could be cleaner but the really awesome head sculpt definitely makes up for it, in my opinion. I think it looks pretty badass. Got the sort of like pinkish color inside the mouth as I'm getting it out of focus. I'm like, hey, can you see that? But no, that's pretty freaking cool. Then we get these like little like spiky tendrils on the back. He's got this, he's, all, he's casted in this like pearlescent mustardy plastic. We get the painted on black symbiote marks and stuff like that. It's just like, I wish they would have sculpted those in. Because I feel like if you're going to have like this guy standing next to that new Carnage, it's like Carnage is all sculpted and crazy. You got this guy that's sort of painted. This would go well with the older Carnage. Um, honestly, I, I guess technically these would just be good with symbiotes in general. This thing is pretty cool. And then we get the more black at the top shoulder. We get these like Batman spike gauntlets. Um, again, be informed by the, by the symbiote and everything looks great. Then we get down to his legs and the legs have those spiky things too. More black paint. It's weird. There's none on the, from like the, the shins up to his crotch. There's no, no black paint. Let me check the back. Yeah. Same thing. So you get all this like black paint, but then they left like a big chunk on the back bare. At least they added some paint up here. One thing that's cool, though, I noticed that out of the box, this thing comes equipped. But if you don't want the spikies, you can take it off and just have him without it. This figure is probably one of the coolest symbiotes that we've gotten. Diving into articulation, his head can look down that far. Even his jaw sort of does a little motion. Uh, it can look back quite a bit. You know, it's that ball and disc hinge. You're going to get a lot of movement out of it. A little bit of attitude, looking great. Arms can go up that far. Biceps with a double jointed elbow, wrist rotation, and of course, it's a little bit tight because he's fresh out of package. A wrist bend there as well. And again, I like those hands. They're not like extremely claw looking, but their lanky fingers and stuff looks pretty good. Then we get into ab crunch. Let me go ahead and pop his arms down. <laughs> When we're looking at his ab crunch, I did test this before I started recording. Um, he can lean back quite a bit. Like, he leans back nicely, but wow, look at the gap. Probably one of the worst gaps I've seen when dealing with ab articulation with the figure. Like, I could, 
it looks like it should be one of those disc shooters, those guns that you shoot those multicolored discs. And when you go forward, it's great. Looks great going forward. But pow, you could back a Buick into that bad boy. So it's, as long as you're not like posing it to where you can see those gaps, you'll be fine. Then we get into his waist. You all know how I feel about these waists. They should be ball joints. This looks great like this, but once you start turning, you get the bookshelves which just look nasty. Now, can he do the splits? That's as far as he can do the splits. He can kick up. He can do almost he can do a field goal kick. Cut at the thigh, double jointed knees. We get a boot cut at the calf. Ankle bend. And you know it's going to be generous pivot going on there. Pose and phage is pretty fun. I mean, you just have him there with his claws sort of out. And he's just screaming or yelling or just getting ready to attack. It's a, it's a pretty awesome and very fun looking figure. Now, phage can do the walk. You can get him with that blade up just, just hunched over like he's going to go and slaughter somebody. I mean, it's pretty awesome to pose this guy. And uh, it, it's... It's great. You just got to find that little sweet spot when you're balancing them. And you can just have them all lurking over. And it's great. It's it's till he topples over. Again, you got to find that sweet spot. Ankles on some of these legends, especially when you're dealing with like the pearlescent metallic type of plastic. It can get a little bit weak when it comes to ankle bends. But this figure is awesome. And when we're looking at his sort of arm piece, I'm going to bring it in here a little bit closer. Because it is a unique looking piece. And... You could really rotate it however you want. I sort of put it at the bottom like he's going to use it more of like an axe. But uh, you could rotate it around and then sort of... Well, I guess you can't really rotate it. you got to flip it. And it attaches that way too. As if you're forming from these blades. Phage is definitely a good addition to your symbiote squad. If you have a bunch of other symbiotes and everything like that. Because he's just so creepy. Like his fingers not being fully claws and stuff. Just make them all long. And it's like something you'd see that come out of the shadows. And it, it's it's sad that I'll be parting ways with this figure. Um, I picked up this set just to build the build a figure. And uh, my buddy Judd claimed Phage. He was like, I, I want that Phage. I was like, you got it. And uh, it's definitely an awesome piece. And... I highly recommend if you're building that whole symbiote squad with Scream and Lasher and all them, then you definitely need this in your collection. And that sums up my unboxing and review of Marvel Legends Phage from the Venom Pool Build-A-Figure Wave. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for me. And make sure you guys hit that silver bell notification so you know when I post up a new video. Check out Nate's Toys and Collectibles down below. That's where I ended up getting a lot of these figures for a discounted price. So check it out down below. And I want you guys to make sure you have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.